Uganda shares similar geology with Tanzania, which has attracted foreign direct investment into the mining sector to the tune of 2.5 billion US dollars just eight years after new mining laws were enacted in 1998. Around the same time in 1999, Uganda enacted its mining laws. However, this country has not achieved as much as Tanzania. Dennis Kusasira, a minerals economist, blames this on Uganda's taxation policy, which is in favor of financial benefits for the country rather than economic benefits, whose impact solves issues like unemployment and service delivery. The willing holding tax on foreign service providers is, uh, I think, 15%, and local is 6%. So you find that where you would spend $100 you are spending 115 so therefore it is more expensive to do the service in Uganda than elsewhere. Uganda's land policy is another drawback to the mining industry. The policy does not clearly explain how land owners and those with mineral exploitation rights can work together. So they always send us to the district and use the district rates but these rates have been found to be unfair by land owners. The districts set rates for compensation on crops, etc. But landowners have found those unfair and they reject them. According to the National Development Plan, every land where minerals are discovered becomes government property. It is unlikely that landowners will accept this. Meanwhile, local licensees who lack the capital and capacity have failed to attract foreign partners unlike their Tanzanian counterparts. The moment you find that most of the money is paid to foreign contractors, then, of course, your GDP will be low. Your benefits from the mining sector will be low because you are spending much money, but it's all about taxing the high profitable mines highly and taxing the low profitable mines fairly. Apart from the petroleum sector, such mineral economic issues will be a major topic during the upcoming Mineral Wealth Conference in early October. Uganda is known to hold a number of lucrative minerals, including gold, limestone, rare earth elements, among others, some of which are being explored. Lubega Emanuel, WBS News.